Hello, welcome to Maths with J. In this question, we're given a curve and we're given its parametric equations. So we're given x in terms of t and y in terms of t, where t is the parameter. In the first part, it's only a one mark question, so it must be simple, and we're just being asked to write down the coordinates of a and we're given what the parameter is there. So we're looking at the equations for x and y and putting the value of the parameter into those two equations. So we're told that t is minus 1, so x is going to be negative 1 cubed minus 8 times negative 1. So that's going to be negative 1 plus 8, so we've got that x is 7. And we've got a nice simple formula for y. y is just t squared, so y is going to be negative 1 squared, so y is 1. So the coordinates of a are simply 7, 1. OK, so in part b, we're being told that the line L is the tangent to C at A. So what we could do is have a go at sketching that onto the graph that we've got. So we can see that A has got positive coordinates, so it must be to the right hand side of the, the y axis and above the x axis. Well, the whole of the curve apart from the bit at the origin is above the x axis anyway. So it doesn't really matter whether or not you put this on, but it can make it a bit easier to kind of get the idea of, uh, of what you're doing. So let's just try and draw in a tangent to the curve um, on the right hand side of the y-axis somewhere so we can get the idea of what we're looking at. So that's a possible line L. So the line L is the tangent to C at A. So the point A, I'm saying, is somewhere there. It doesn't really matter where it is, but it just kind of helps sometimes to have a, a visualisation of what we're doing. So the line that we've got is touching the curve. It's a tangent to the curve, so it's just touching it at one point there. And we know that the coordinates of A are 7, 1. So we've got no idea what scale is being used on this graph. And we need to show that an equation for that line is, and it's giving us the equation of a straight line. So it's nice that we've got the, the answer there to compare it with. So because we've got parametric equations here, we're going to have to use parametric differentiation. So let's just look at the, uh, the formula that we're going to use for that. So we know that dy by dx, which is going to be the gradient of the, the line, that's going to be dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So in other words, we need to find dy by dt and dx by dt. But we have x in terms of t and y in terms of t, so that should be no problem. So let's work them out. So dx by dt. So differentiating t cubed, we get 3t squared. And then we're subtracting, differentiating 8t gives us 8 dy by dt, differentiating t squared, gives us 2t. So now we can use our formula, so dy by dx, giving us the gradient, is simply going to be dy by dt, which is 2t, divided by 3t squared minus 8. That's our dx by dt. So we found the gradient in terms of t. But we want to know the gradient at the point A. So what we need to do next is substitute in the relevant value of t. And we already know that t is negative 1. So we need to just say that at A, and we're writing down the gradient, so let's call that m. So m, the gradient, is going to be, looking at dy by dx and putting in the value of t as minus 1, it's going to be 2 times negative 1 
divided by 3 times negative 1 squared, so that will be 3, subtract 8, so that's going to be negative 2 divided by 5. No, it isn't, but divided by negative 5. So in other words, that will be 2 fifths. So we know the gradient. We also know a point because uh, we've already worked out the, uh, the coordinates of A. So something else we're going to need is the formula for uh, a straight line. So let's just make a note of that down here. We know that y minus y1 is m times x minus x1. So we've just found m, we already have the x1, y1, that's the coordinates of a, so we just need to substitute into that and then we'll be able to write down the equation of the line and hopefully it will be as that given in the question. So let's just give ourselves a bit more space. Right, so that's a bit clearer, so we can see what the point is and what the gradient is, so let's just substitute into the formula. So the equation of the line is y minus y1, so our y1 is 1, and that's equal to m times x minus x1, so that's 7. So now we need to just multiply this out, rearrange it, and hope to get what we've given, what we've been given in the question. So let's have a look at what we've got. So y minus 1, actually what I'll do is multiply across by the 5 so that we've only got to deal with whole numbers. And we can already see that it's looking hopeful, can't we? We've got 5y on one side and 2x on the other side, so that is already looking very good. So multiplying out, we get 5y minus 5 is 2x minus 14. Um, we want the 2x to be positive, so we want to leave that where it is. We want to subtract 5y from both sides, and then we've got minus 14 plus 5, so we get minus 9 equals 0, as required. So that's part B done. So next time we'll look at part C.